Hello everyone, it's me Yes, I'm very welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you how to edit the photo like this. So let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. So I'm deleting all the layers from here. And this one is a raw image and this image has some spots in a face. Press Ctrl Command J and right press reselect the layer. After that, going to the spot healing brush tool from here, making this one content viewer and making it normal. And this one is 30 pixel enough for me. You can increase the brush size by pressing third bracket opening and closing. Select once, you will get the remove is spot removed from here. Actually, that is containing error. That means uh, it's taking the non affected area pixels and fill it up into the affected pixel. So here this one be careful when you are removing the spot from the face don't do it too much otherwise it could be spoiled your face texture and that is not good for the portrait photography and from here some spots appearing over here that's good and in this portion okay that's fine after that going to the filter and going to the neural filter in the photoshop 2021 you are getting this filter for the smooth skin here the skin is smoothing turning it on i'm making it a little bit zoom so here you are getting the blur portion and here is the smoothness portion i'm making it smooth a little bit the blood like that and let's see before one and after one like this and hit the ok button and after using that here the another layer i'm merging the layer with that and going to the filter again and going to the camera filter from here going to the load settings options from the menu and here the brown preset and load it up I made this preset for you guys and I'll provide you that downloading in my video description. From here, you are getting the temperature plus 8, tint plus 19. Here the contrast plus 15 are highlight that is uh, minus 79 and shadow plus 76 and white that is uh, minus 3 and blacks minus 20 plus 28. Here the texture minus 16, clarity minus 5 and saturation minus 5. After doing that, going to the curve, input value 0, output value 42, input value 45, output value 50, input value 88 and output value 90, and input value 191, output value 186, input value 255 and output value 233. That's fine. The detailing portion, we had the sharpening amount 25, noise reduction 20 and color noise reduction 35. That's good and color mixture hue saturation luminance hue which color will be and uh, actually which color do you want to change from the photography and the saturation percentage of the color and luminance intensity of the color and the hue portion you're getting 20 plus 23 orange minus 8 yellow plus 5 green plus 11 aqua plus 10 on the purple 20 and the magenta plus 20 saturation minus 28 orange minus 45 yellow minus 86 green minus 65 aqua minus 20 and the blue minus 15 and purple minus 65 magenta 50 that's good from here color grading color grading means what color you are giving in the shadow mid-tone and highlight in the shadow portion you are i'm providing here 34 that is the value of the color you can change the value if you change the value the number will change and the saturation that is a percentage of the color 5 and the mid tone 134 and the saturation if I change it out like that 13 that's good and the shadow we just used in first and the highlight 41 and saturation 14 that's good and the optics geometry and effects here the vignetting that is minus 7 and here the calibration uh, that is a hue plus 28 for the red primary here the shadow teeth that is minus 4 and the 
saturation 60 and here green primary plus 50 and the saturation 15 10 for the blue primary and the saturation minus 15 and hit the ok button so after using that i'll use another filter from the nick collection going to the filter again going to the nick collection color effects pro 4 this one is another plugins for filter using filter you are getting the bunch of filters from here and i'm using here the cross processing from here cross processing and lots of method over here sub method and i'll use this one here the strength i can change it out and you can add the shadow some highlighted areas and other steps and hit the ok button which is really cool and um, the output is uh, standard and uh, that is outstanding actually the raw image non edited image you are getting like that after uh, making the camera filter or applying the camera filter you are getting like this and uh, smooth skin and after finally after using the cross processing from the nick collection you are getting the result like this so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query please do comment on the video comment section don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and amazing tutorials and the presets so until the next video ASMR is signing out stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers bye bye